I'm in Oceanside today, where most of the iconic pier is back open to the public after a huge fire destroyed the buildings at the West End a few weeks ago. I spoke with Oceanside's Mayor Esther Sanchez the day of the fire, and I caught up with her again earlier today about what an exciting day this is for her and so many others. Huge day in Oceanside. We wanted to open up the pier as quickly as possible, um, starting with the safe part of the pier. As you know, 93% was saved by our, you know, just wonderful, courageous, very talented uh, fire department, which includes EMTs, lifeguards. Uh, our OPD was also very helpful, and then, of course, all the mutual aid that we got from everywhere, including from the private um, sector. Remarkable when you think about it and when you saw that fire and, and you think it could have been worse. Yeah, I, I spoke to several people that saw the smoke and they thought that the whole pier was going to go. So the fact that our fire department strategy was um, to a, a defensive right away, they said, you know, we're not going to be able to save the restaurant. It was just all in flames. Yeah. And so they cut out a piece and said, you know, it's not going to be, go beyond that, and it didn't, 93%. So what's open today is basically 75% of the pier. Um, there's a gate um, put up just to be really, really safe yeah. for the public. Yeah. Um, and uh, this morning it opened at 7, it's open until 10 p.m., and then starting tomorrow it'll open regular hours, 4 a.m., to 10 p.m. So we've got a lot of folks fishing today and as the water gets warmer, which it is starting to do, we get more and more. I was talking to the bait guy yesterday, Adam, and he said, yeah, you know, on a, on a typical day, you'll get 100 people fishing. Coming up a little later in the show, hear more from the mayor about the staff at the Brine Box, the restaurant that was destroyed during the fire. She says they could reopen in some capacity soon. That's coming up at 430.